today's program so glad you joined us listen you want to call some friends because we're going to be talking about 2014 and what the Lord kind of spoke to us not kind of what he did speak to us and we we uh, really like to um, hear from the Lord for ourselves so we make it a point not to listen to a bunch of words so that when we bring you something we know that the Lord spoke it directly to us we didn't hear it from prophet so-and-so or evangelist so-and-so which is not a bad thing but when you're giving something and you say it's from the Lord and he told you then you need to know what he told you and not be going by somebody else and just repeating something like a parakeet which there's a, probably a lot of great words out there and after this show I'll probably look at some of them if somebody sends me one but um, first of all for you new viewers please call that prayer line across the bottom of the screen 307-637-PRAY that's 7729 you will not be sorry I mean we are seeing major breakthroughs on the prayer lines and we want to see your breakthrough if you need one um, we will pray with you on those prayer lines and people stand by to pray with you and we're so thankful to hook up with the Holy Spirit and what heaven has divinely for you for such a time as this that he already predestined and ordained and we hook up and agree take authority over some things stand with you and see your breakthrough mm -hmm. and that's what we're about here and we mm -hmm. love praying for you and with you and then we pray for those prayer requests every day and I even pick up that phone and lay hands on that phone mm -hmm. and that prayer lines and so uh, for you new viewers Welcome all the ones who always watch us and always call. We're, we're so grateful. But you new viewers, I'm Charlene back to Miriam. And this is Jennifer Griffin. And this is Lana Gardner. And uh, we are your hosts for uh, God's View. And Mary Ann is not with us again this week, but we do have Mary Ann Peluso. And she's just traveling around ministering. And we're thinking like, what? No. But we all travel around and minister. Matter of fact, that reminds me, if you'd like us to come in as God's View and do a conference, we've, we, you know, we've been doing signs, wonders, and miracles conferences. And for such a time as this conference is, and God is doing great and mighty things. And then we all also will travel alone if you need somebody to come we all have ministries please remember that because if God speaks to you we would be glad to come Wow you guys 2014 oh, we are in 2014 remember years ago and and or even in in 2000 people were saying it's the end and, and all this kind of stuff and we had even in 1988 mm. what they wrote I don't know how many 88 I don't some ways to that Jesus was coming and he was going to be here and and you know that's why boy you just got to serve God every day yeah. and and just you know when people start putting dates on stuff that's the exact time you know I had a friend tell me when that book came out oh but Charlene now listen you can't throw everything out because he's really got some great things on certain things and I'm like no you go to a little bit of deception you open yourself up to a whole lot of deception you can even find yourself in the middle of divorces in the middle of I mean all kinds of crazy stuff because yeah. you've opened yourself up mm. to something crazy like that don't listen to people who put dates on stuff listen yeah. to the word of the mm -hmm. Lord you know mm -hmm. um, I'll, I guess I can start off yeah. since I'm talking you know and, and God has given us all something and and I'm sure Marianne had some great yeah, stuff too she did. but you know maybe yeah. she can share some of it you know next yes. show or something but I heard the Lord say this was a year of trusting of the Lord you know you, you kind of think that you know you, you think that and you say oh well that's just really not that big of a deal but if you look at your heart and God showed me so seriously how people have trust issues and they say, oh, I'm believing, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. But it gets back to, do you trust him to really, really follow through? Mm -hmm. Are you trusting every word? Mm -hmm. I think for some people that word probably means you're going to really have to trust him this year through some hard things. I think for some of us, it's just trust him greater. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just think it's like it means a lot because, you know, one of my uh, favorite scriptures in Proverbs is trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him 
and he mm -hmm. will direct your paths. It says, be not wise in your own eyes, mm -hmm. depart from evil. You know, I, I mean, and, and, and trust him, it's, it's, it's marrow to your bones. You know, I mean, it says, it is, you know, God, it, I think we all in certain areas have trust issues. Yeah. Trust issues. I yeah, mean, we really do. And I'm not absolutely. saying that has to even be severe. I'm not talking yeah. about just abuse or things like that. I'm just talking, we need to trust him this year like never before because there's voices yeah. he showed me that are really rising up. Whether it's against uh, you, against what you believe, or against each other, mm -hmm. don't join into it. I have said over and over the last few weeks, God is the judge. When it's all said and done, trust his voice. You know, yeah. I go back to my friend right here and many others that when um, when you were ready to get married, you had so many words from different people, different prophets, and they were all wrong. And th But you knew in your heart, yeah. You knew what God said, and you trusted them. And, and you it, prophesied it. Yeah, but here, you know, you know, um, God woke you up in the middle of the night to tell me. Yeah, well, yeah, it's true. But you know, and thank God that that, you know, He did, you know, speak through my voice and confirm some things with you. And and I'm I'm very honored. And uh, but we at the bottom of it. We have to know because we trust in our friends. Yeah, we trust in prophetic fine. voices that are great voices. I'm not saying they're bad. Right. And, and very rarely have many of them missed it that have spoken into my yeah. life. But boy, yeah. when it's something really important, the devil will use voices closest mm -hmm. to you. And they will think that they are so right. Number one, it's training them again. Because sometimes we get old in the Lord and we think, oh. You know, oh no, listen, I'm infallible. He's not. Mm -hmm. And so always, always, always check the word out with the Lord. Always. Because you trust in Him. Because it's a uh, mirror to your bones. It's a mirror yeah. to your bones and it's health to your navel. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And it's peace. And it's peace. When yeah. he's talking to you, it's peace. Yeah. And he said that, that um, he is knocking on doors of hearts to depart from things that are displeasing him. Mm -hmm. Because remember in that word we said, fear the Lord and depart from evil. Well, many people, one of my nephews had asked me one time, what do you mean fear? And why would he say fear me? And I said, well, it's a, it's a different fear than what you know. It's a reverence, it's yeah. an awe, it's a clothing of him and who he is and his presence. He is so wonderful, it's a different fear. Fear mm -hmm. the Lord and depart from evil, yeah. things that are displeasing him, things that he wants to bring you up out of some old things into some new things. He said, things that you are doing that you think no one sees, mm. but I see, says the Lord. Now, there's many people in situations, God said, and even on the fence right now, ministers of the gospel, that you are not counting the cost. And it's going to bite you, oh. and you're going to you, it, things are going to Ooh. things are going to be messed up. You got to you got to put your trust back in Him. You got to depart from evil, and you got to get rid of those things that are displeasing Him. Because He said, "These things that you think no one sees, I see," says the Lord. And I'm not just speaking to ministers. I'm speaking to yeah. a lot of people right now. God speaks to His bride. Nobody's exempt. He said, I'm speaking to you as you cry out to me, yet you are not departing, says the Lord. So for 2014, God is saying very seriously to you, you know, and he's correcting some things. And, you know, people, this is what I want to say here. To you that have a friend right now that you know that God is correcting and he's severely putting you through some stuff. And, and, and some stuff is shaking and everything else. He's putting mm. your friend through that. Please don't sit there and say, oh, look at them. And, oh, they shouldn't have done that. You know what? God says, when I am correcting one of your brothers and sisters, you hold up the weak knee and pray the feeble arms. And yeah. you pray for them. Yeah. And you stand for them because they need it, especially when they're wayward, you know. Yeah. And so he says that. Um, he's heard your cries and he says, I'm speaking to you as you cry to me, but you aren't departing. Depart from some things. Get before yeah. him this year and say, God, my husband, and I said, if we're touching your glory anywhere, if we're taking your glory anywhere, show us. If we've got anything in our lives that is displeasing to you, God, come and burn it out of us. Let it take, take that wheat and that chaff, blow it out. Just take that debris because we want to be before you pure.
when the, when the Lord Jesus comes, it says in Thessalonians, with all of his holy ones, that we would be pure before the Lord our Father, and that when Jesus comes with all of them, we will go. We will yeah. go. This is very important. I heard in my spirit that really God wants this departing. And he says, as you depart, I love when he said this. It, the, the anointing just fell on me in the middle of the night. As you depart, I will impart. Hmm. That means you're going to go to some great new levels with the Lord because he will come in because he can't come into that place. Do you understand what I mean? Because the old wine skin, if you have an old wine skin, what did God say? He can't, he can't do anything with it. He can't pour in to no. an old wine skin. It will burst. So he's saying, as you depart, I will impart in that place and you will find yourself into new levels, into new anointings and new places that you never, ever dreamed of going because this thing is wrapping up and he needs some acceleration in your life and others' Amen. lives to get this thing done. Do you understand what he's saying? Praise God. So depart from the things that are to be taken into your next season, he said. Depart from them because he's got to get you into that next season. And so as you depart, he's going to impart and you will be departing from from all of that evil. And then, uh, as we said, in Psalms 31, 14, he showed me that too. And he said that, um, and, and I love this scripture because this is another one we prophesy over ourselves. And I just say, Lord, I trust you. Our times are in your hands. But the scripture says, but I trust you, O God. O Lord, my times are in your hands. So, in this year of trusting in him for your next level, for your next season, for all those things, as you depart and lay down and uh, do what God has called you to do, my gosh, trust him. Your times are in his hands. He's got you. He's got your back. And then he said that there is going to be an awakening in hearts to acknowledge my ways that hearts have not, where your heart has not acknowledged him, many hearts that haven't hmm. even had the chance of salvation wow. are going to acknowledge him in this year. And he says, and there will be paths that are now traveled because direction will be the manifestation. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a direction. And he says, many have cried out for years and due to the lack of trust and heartfelt acknowledge acknowledgement, nothing has happened. He said, but in this year, what man calls 2014 of trusting the Lord and not in any other way, it will be a mixture that is not mixed with the things of the world for many hearts because many have been mixing and mixing and mixing and now they are so lopsided and they've allowed deception to come in. They've allowed other things and they're following stuff that isn't even my voice, says the Lord. And there will be great results, he said, for many, 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 matter of fact, he had, had me keep writing that word, many, 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 says the Lord. You will have results. One more thing the Lord showed me. He said, tell my people to read the book of Ephesians. He said, it will become an awakening in many of the hearts of my bride. He said, this will cause flesh, a fresh walk with me, says the Lord. He said, my bride will come up out of some places and you know my husband and I when the Lord says something that right away we started reading Ephesians and oh my gosh it's like everything yeah. that you ever want to be or be in a Christian or need to do or anything it came so alive and God said if you read Re uh, um, Revelation it, it, it will be Revelation to you <laughs> Ephesians the whole book I immediately put it on my phone I spoke it and spoke it and put it on my phone so that I can hear mm -hmm. it and my husband and I have been going through it I'll tell you, he said, you will have such an awakening to righteousness and to things that he wants. There will just be a new thing. It'll be like mm. you're born again again. So read Ephesians for those mm. of you who really, really want to take this word. And then one more thing. One more thing. Because these girls got, to, they have stuff too. And this is a word of the Lord. Come up out of that place you have made for yourselves. That false place of comfort. Let me be your comfort, says the Lord. Me and only me. Come up higher. I'm taking away the baby blankets, says the Lord. Those false places of security. Allow me to give you my blanket of true security and let go of those false places you have built and dwelt and that you have called a safe place. 
Come dwell in the secret place of the Most High, a safe place where truth is that blanket that clothes your hearts. Oh my God, is that good oh, truth yeah. that clothes our heart? It is His truth that clothes us. The true, secure place to see how I see, to love how I love, to walk how I walk, to be the very fruit of my spirit in the world today. You shall be that ripe, shiny fruit ready to pick as you give up your false places and allow my truth to dwell instead. Again I say I am opening the eyes of my people to see the wickedness of their hearts, not for condemnation, but repentance, says Amen. the Lord. Amen. Not so you can say, you. my brother needs to change, but I need to change, O oh God. And as the blanket of humbleness clothes your hearts, you truly shall be one. Remember where I want thee is dwelling with me in that true safe place with a God that will do you good and not evil. A God that knows what is the right season of your life and the direction you are going. I will not allow you to go off the path I plan for your life as you seek me. So I am taking away the baby blanket, says the Lord. I am your father and I would not take away any part of your life that would not be good for you. That is a good thing for I shall be your security as I have taken the false blankets away and opened your eyes and I shall be that safe dwelling place in your heart. Wow. You know, God is okay. so faithful because there's many places that we call those. You know, even when we were kids, many of us had something that we called security, whether it was mm -hmm. a blanket, whether a pacifier, <laughs> whether whatever. But you know what? And, and we're not saying that, you know, oh, my gosh, you just trust in a blanket or anything. But, I, you know, God, I, I can't interpret what he says for you yeah. in your life. But I know there's many places that we call, he said, safe places that are not safe places that we have built That's and right. dwelt. Mm -hmm. yeah. we're, we're building and Amen. dwelling in those Amen. places instead of dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. Mm -hmm. So anyways, I hope that blesses you. Blessed my socks off. Uh, Ephesians is blessing my socks off. And God is doing a new thing in every one of our lives. If you'll just listen to him, yeah. if, you'll just, if you'll just take some of the words of the Lord and just, just try to apply what he is saying. I always say to everybody, put it on the shelf. If you, if you, if you think something was a little, uh, wasn't going with you, put it there. Pray and ask God, seek God, because you know you don't want just any word, because it. But but this word is like really for everybody. It is. I mean, it, it was not yeah. just a a word like, oh well, I better do it because I'm messed up or I'm. It's you for know, everyone. It's for That's everyone, right. and, and it really was for you. So take Amen. it to heart. And seek the Lord because he wants to take yeah. you to a new level this year. Really, you, many of you, he showed me, have been believing for so long. And this has been in the way. And that has been in the way. And this has been in the way. And you always seek and say, is there something that I'm holding up? Sometimes it's just the devil because there's bigness that God is doing. And when Daniel cried out and, and prayed, it was 21 days for that answer. But remember, God said, I sent the answer right away. I sent the angels right away. But all mm -hmm. of those demonic hosts was stopping it. Yeah. Well, look at us for our seven year in yeah. ministry. This is our seventh year. Yeah. And you know, the devil has tried and tried and tried. You see what he's done, but mm -hmm. look what God has done right. yes. all over the world. You know, God has done it. He says, okay, you ain't going to bring the finances in here. Well, then I'll pay for your heirs. I'll, mm -hmm. pay, I'll pay for the that's airways right. over here. Amen. I'll have people put you on over I, here. Yeah. I'll do it over here. That's you see right. what I mean? Because yeah. that's what God yeah. does. He does. That's Hallelujah. awesome. Oh, you guys, I'm going to stop. I'm, I'm excited <laughs> because, I, can I share? Yes. Because of what um, I feel like God gave me. And it's been speaking to me, and I don't have it all written out, but what I'm hearing <laughs> is he's narrowing, narrowing the gates this year. He's narrowing the path even narrower. And to me, that's exciting because it's something happening. It goes right along with what you're saying. And um, I have the scripture for that in Matthew. And I wanted to share a couple scriptures, but um, it says, Enter through the narrow gate, for wide in, is the gate, and spacious and broad is the way that leads a way to destruction. And many are those who are entering through it. Wow. But the gate is narrow, contracted by pressure, and the way is straightened and compressed that leads away to life. 
and few are those who find it. Well, I pray that isn't the truth. And that's what God's saying, though, that he's narrowing the pathway. And he said, too, um, he's taking and he's asking us, like you said, to lay down those things that are um, sins and things that are in our life that, um, that have hindered us from our walk. And he showed me a mountain, kind of going up a mountain, and how when you're going up a mountain, when you get to the place where there's um, less air because you're so far up in the yeah there and yes. you're going then, steeper up because wow, he's bringing us higher he's bringing us higher so you there's it's like you can't carry anything with you you have mm. to shed all these things wow. that you've been carrying to mm. get to that place and so that's i feel like that's a, a natural way of looking at it but he's in spiritual is is saying we're shedding some things and i have that's another awesome. scripture yeah. in that's hebrews awesome. that um it says um Hebrews 12, it says, let us strip off, off and throw aside every encumbrance, unnecessary weight, and that sin which so readily, defiedly, and cleverly clings and entangles us. And let us run with patient endurance and steady, active persistence and appointed course of the race that is set before us. Oh, and so, awesome. you know, God is set in the course before us, but we, like you said, there's things that he's putting his um, finger on in our life right now. Yeah. Things in our heart that maybe we haven't recognized that, we, that we're carrying. And I really believe it was kind of cool because I was like, that goes right along with what God's saying is that, you know, he's, he's, he's pinpointing things mm -hmm. because he's narrowing the path. And he's saying, you know, the, in the world, it's getting broader all the time. Mm -hmm. the, the perception, everything, what's being taught, yes, everything, you believe this good. and believe that, it's getting broader. But God said his bride, he's pulling it closer. And he wants us to be so focused on him, not to be entangled by these things in the left and the right. Oh, God, that's good. That so is good, that's Jen. what I was hearing. That is good. And He's when you God. were saying that, I still got, you know, there was a couple things that I didn't read, but I'm going to read this because when he said to read the book of Ephesians, uh, so many things that stood out to me. And one of them was Ephesians 5, uh, um, uh, 7. Uh, let me see. I got, well, I'm just going to read it. Uh, I, thought, I thought it was 10 and 11, but okay. It says, because it goes along with all of this. So it's, and try to learn. So this is Ephesians 5, 10, and 11. Because as I was going through it, things were popping out. And he says, share that, share that. Okay. So, and try to learn in your ex experience what is pleasing to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Let your lives be constant proofs of what is most acceptable to him. See, I think he's telling us this year that the body of Christ has been loose yeah. in, yeah. Their, you know, yeah. at, in their actions. Not only that, though, what you said was really, really good. If we don't shed those things, even snakes shed their skin yeah. and get new. If we don't shed those things, how can we get the new thing? How can we get the, the new old. wine mm -hmm. poured in if we want to stay in that old place? Yeah. He really wants to take some people to some new levels this year. But it depends on you. You can't say, well, yeah. Lord, why didn't you do this? And Lord, why didn't you do that? When he's saying there's something that you need to do. Now, there's some yeah. of you that don't need to do a thing. You search your life. You're not in sin. You, you, it's just the devil. Just flat the devil, yeah. stopping things and hindering things. And those things are okay, too. You don't go searching for a demon or anything. But the thing is, is if he's speaking to you so that you can get to a next level. Man, I didn't get here all over the world on TV, but I, I, I walked, I mean, I had to go through some trials to get and pay some costs, yeah. many costs, people and everything to get to where I was and to lose friends and everything. Yeah. It was just horrific. But you know what? I wouldn't trade it for anything. So let's right. read uh, Ephesians 5, uh, 11 now, because we did 10. Take no part and have no fellowship with the fruitless mm -hmm. deeds and enterprises of darkness, but instead let your lives be so in contrast as to expose and reprove and convict them. Mm, amen. I mean, I, I mean I, and this is one thing we all got to remember too. I need to remind myself. I wasn't going to read 12, but you know, he said read all of Ephesians. I'm not going to read it right now, but, but this is a good one to remind myself today too. For it is a shame even to speak of or mention the things that such people practice in secret. Because a lot of things are spoken that are really, just shouldn't even yeah. be spoken. It's just yeah. so defiling and it's so, you know, and, and, and we really mm -hmm. got to watch mm -hmm. what we're saying Amen. as we go forth That's this right. year. That's right. That's yeah. big. Uh -huh. You, you know, go, Lana. Oh, okay, man, my well, gosh, I think we first of all, we have to remember to be more than prophecy is to be grateful 
that, that our names are written in the Lamb's Book yeah. of Life. Yes. Amen? Yes. More than that. And, and God has been speaking to me along your lines too, but, but another word, and the word, one word is harvest. Mm. Harvest. Mm -hmm. That this year, 2014, that we as the body of Christ have planted lots of good seed. Mm. And I believe that those seeds are going to come up this year. So we're going to cash in on a lot of things. I truly, truly feel yeah, like that's God's heart. I'm cashing in. <laughs> yeah. Cha -ching. Cha -ching. I'm cashing in. I right. received that word. <laughs> <laughs> and he does truly want to give us the desires of our heart yeah. and the gifts of our callings. They will be awakened. But in line with what, what you were saying, Sharp, that, that um, life and death is in the power of the tongue. And that we must get in line with the word of God. The Lord is our shepherd. He gives us everything we need. But if we speak words that are not in alignment mm -hmm. with his words, yeah, then we're putting toxins, literally. You speak negatives, mm -hmm. toxins into our body, which go into our brain, which spreads into the whole body. And, well, that's and, right. it, and it causes like illnesses and everything. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. Yes. yes. So, so God is wanting us to say things like, um, you know, the Lord meets my needs. He gives me wisdom. Oh, I have the mind of Christ. Not to say things like, oh, I have a terrible memory. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm sick. It's January. I always get sick in January. No, 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 no. God doesn't say that. God says that by your stri his stripes, you are healed. That's so right. even when you're feeling yeah, sick, you've got to speak the word of God. And I guess it's the end of the show. Oh I have more things to tell you. Oh my gosh. Well, we can, we can do it maybe in the next show, say okay. a couple more Let's things. Let's do. Yeah. Because yeah. we did run out of time for today. But you know what, Saints? Um, really, this is a show you probably should uh, go purchase online at our website. You can get it for $9. That includes shipping and handling. And you can go over that. You can get CD or DVD. We'd be glad to send it right out to you so you can hear all of it. If you just tuned in, we all gave what God spoke to us for this year. You really will want to get it. And then please, if you don't know him, if you don't yeah. know him, uh, come come today to say, Lord Jesus, forgive me of my sins. I believe you're the son of God. I believe you died for me. I believe that you... Um, rose again and that you're coming back and you know i know many of you think oh that jesus stuff but listen i i was there too i was harry christian i, I believe so many crazy things and i mean just kind of went along with anything and uh sure. but you, you know, know what god was so faithful he came and he just like it said he came to seek and save the lost and he saved me he found me mm -hmm. and he wants to find you today and all you got to do is just say i believe with my uh heart and i confess with my mouth that you are now my lord if you did it Call our prayer lines across the bottom of the screen, 307-637-PRAY, that's 7729. I will get a Bible into your hand for all who have said that prayer and got born again today. We love you. Jesus loves you more. We're so glad you tuned in. Please, if God would tell you, go to our website across the bottom of the screen or send it to the P.O. box. Any donation helps. We're in the middle of going all over more places, and we... Uh, need uh, voiceovers and dubbing uh, cost, and we need stuff for the new stu studio. Yeah. We need, listen, we're in a lot of projects right now, and we can really, really use your help. But we love you. Jesus loves you more, and it's only goodbye mm -hmm. for today. Please call the prayer lines so we can see your break. Go to www.godsviewtvshows.com to view all God's View TV show hosts, books, and CDs. Joshua and Jennifer Griffin's music CDs, Marianne Peluso's music CDs, Lana Gardner books, and Charlene Bactamarian's books. Visit www.godsviewtvshows.com to purchase your products today.